Pacific Western is a Canada-wide family-owned company, and it is Alberta, Alberta-based. Actually, started just south of Edmonton in uh, the city of uh, town of Wetaskiwin. Um, so we're very proud to be demonstrating the technology and uh, and providing the operations here, uh, right here at home. I'd like to tell you a little bit about uh, what's at the heart of ELLA. ELLA stands for Electric Autonomous. It's a second generation Easy Mile shuttle. It's an EZ-10. And ELLA is fully autonomous shuttle, which means that she does not require a steering wheel or a gas pedal or brake pedal. Uh, does, if you go inside, when you do go inside, you won't see any of those, those items. Uh, it's a fully level five autonomous uh, capabilities. This is a very advanced system. Obviously, it uses uh, three different types of technology. It uses LiDAR, it uses GPS, and it uh, also has video cameras that help it uh, navigate its surroundings. Ella takes uh, a 3D map, uh, so you can, you can see the, the site here is uh, pretty flat, and there's not a lot of uh, buildings or anything around. So what you'll notice is, is some of the signs that are on the side of the road. Uh, the, the signs actually act as the localization signs as well as informational signs for, for folks, but those, those signs are what the LIDAR is looking for at the top of the unit in order to understand where the vehicle is inside its, its uh, mapped trajectory. We've been testing full-size electric buses in the cold here in the city for a number of years now, and of course our first 25 are now on the way. And so it's easy to look at technology like this and say, well, in 20 or 30 years that could really fundamentally change our cities. We should kind of think a little bit about that somewhere off distantly in the future. But if the pace of change is anything like what we've seen with electrification, it could be much, much sooner. And in fact, here it is today, an autonomous vehicle on a closed circuit test track right here in the city of Edmonton.